and I bet you're probably wondering why do I have the entire brake and clutch pedal bracket assembly out of the car and that's because we're going to be replacing the what is going on YouTube welcome back to the channel welcome back to another video so what we got going on today is something a little challenging something a little hard to get to but I think it'll be a worthwhile upgrade and it has to do with this part right here which is my brake and clutch pedal bracket assembly and I bet you're probably wondering why do I have the entire brake and clutch pedal bracket assembly out of the car and that's because we're going to be replacing the stock plastic bushings for some garagistic brass bushings to hopefully eliminate some of the slop that's in these pedals here so with that let's dive into the car and get this project going. All right, so here we are in the driver's footwell and I wanted to show you guys what we're trying to fix by installing these bushings. First and foremost, I'm kind of sitting in the center of the footwell as you could see. And if you look at the clutch pedal, it's offset to the left a little bit. It almost looks bent. And I'm not sure if the bushings are 100% gonna fix that. I did do a little bit of research before starting this video and it seems like this is a pretty common thing on these cars. Some people think it's the bushings. Some people think it's where this pedal kind of mounts to the bracket up there where it pivots. It could be bent, but either way, hopefully these bushings takes care of at least a little bit of that. But even more so than the lean is the sloppiness in the side play of the pedals. Now the clutch pedal isn't quite as bad as the brake pedal. The brake pedal is a lot more sloppy. It takes way less force to move this than this one. This one I can move if I really push it, but this one, it's pretty loose like it just kind of dangles here um it's not bad by any means but if i could you know further bulletproof this car with just simple little mods like this then i'm always down for it so that's why we're getting in here and replacing it and not only that while we're in here replacing those bushings i'm gonna hopefully address my brake lights constantly staying on i've had a few of you comment in a couple of my videos that i've posted about thinking my brake light switch is broken and it's not broken, it works. Um, when I first got the car, I misadjusted the bracket where the brake switch sits in. I kind of bent it a little bit to try to fix it the first time and it just kind of made it worse. So while we're down here, while this panel's out of the car, I'm gonna try to fix that as well. But anyways, um, to get started on removing the pedals, the first thing you have to do is remove this uh, lower panel here. In order to do that, there's gonna be a screw to the left of the steering wheel underneath your headlight switch right here. On the right side of your steering wheel, there's gonna be another screw underneath the ignition. And then if you have the screw in there, there's gonna be one underneath as well. Obviously I don't have one in my case, but take the three screws out and then you're gonna be able to remove this panel. And then I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. And then I'll walk you guys through what you have to do to take these pedals out of the car and install the bushings. All right, I just got this panel off and I wanted to show you guys the connectors that I had to take off to fully remove the panel out of the car. Now, I don't know if every E36 comes with these connectors, but mine had three connectors. These two plug into the, I wanna say the door chime and something to do with your alarm if you have a factory alarm. And then this little connector is just for the light down here if you have a light still. But once you disconnect those, you could fully take this panel out of the car. And then what you have to do is remove this panel to actually see and get up there um, comfortably at least. Now, um, there's gonna be three 10 millimeter bolts in these holes you have to take out. You wanna use an extension and maybe a longer socket to be able to get, get to them. And also you're gonna have, or you should have at least, your OBD2 or OBD connector right here. And it screws on to the couple of brackets you could see down there it kind of just goes like that but to remove this out of the car completely you're going to want to disconnect the or take this uh off of this panel right here and there's just two little screws at least that's all that was holding mine in so go ahead and take that out take the 10 millimeter bolts out of this remove this out of the car which i'm going to do right now and then we'll kind of get a better look at what's going on underneath here to be able to take the pedals out all right, we're gonna go off on a little tangent and explain why I decided to remove the clutch and brake pedal bracket assembly out of the car completely and why I think you should too. So 
The last time I was ever in the driver's footwell of an E36 was way back when I had just started becoming a mechanic. I was still learning a lot. Um, I didn't know a whole lot about cars and when I was down there doing the work, it was really challenging, it was really daunting and it took me a long time to do. Now, skip ahead to today, I'm now almost 10 years into being a master mechanic. So what happened was while I was down there today getting everything disconnected to remove the pedals, I looked at it and I realized there's not a whole lot left to just remove the entire assembly out of the car. And so I thought if I can remove it out of the car, it'd be easier to show it out on the bench where it's brighter, it's not as cramped down there and there's a bunch of wires in the way. I think it'd be easier to explain what's going on and how to remove the pedals just in general if you only want to remove the pedals. And I can also explain what you need to do to remove the entire bracket assembly out of the car. So let's move our attention to the bench. I'm going to show you guys what's going on and how to remove the pedals and the assembly if that's what you want to do. And then we'll get into replacing the bushings. So here's the assembly on the bench. Now, if you're looking at it in the car, assuming you aren't taking it out, it's going to look something like this. You're looking at it kind of at this angle, maybe a little bit like this, but Let's assume all you want to do is remove the pedals and you don't want to take the, bra or the bracket assembly out. In order to do that, this is your clutch pedal and this is your brake pedal. You're going to have to disconnect your clutch pedal from the clutch master cylinder. And in order to do that, there's a clip on the left side. You're going to remove this clip and then there's a pin that runs through the middle. You'll push that pin through this way and then the clutch pedal will be free. The um, clutch master cylinder just has like a little... Uh, tab or whatever you want to call that but the pin runs through it like this the pin will run through it and then this will be free i do want to note to be careful if you still have your return spring or your clutch pedal helper spring some people call this it is in multiple pieces some people delete this part it's not 100 percent necessary assuming your clutch master isn't leaking but that's a topic for another video but just be careful because once this is free this if you pull this out like this if it's sitting like if it's re in its resting state once you pull it out this will fling apart it is in multiple pieces so i just want to note that now moving on to your brake pedal your brake pedal is attached to your brake booster that runs through the firewall through this hole right here um, again similar to the clutch pedal there's a clip right here remove this clip and then push the pin out that way and then the brake pedal will be free now on both of the pedals where it hinges there's going to be a clip back here once you remove this clip this pedal will slide off the bracket this way and same thing with the brake pedal once you remove this clip the brake pedal will slide off the bracket this way now if you wanted to take the entire assembly out of the car you're still going to have to disconnect your clutch pedal from the clutch master and you're still going to have to disconnect the brake pedal from the brake booster. But once you do that, the only thing left to take out if you wanted to remove this whole thing is there's four 13 millimeter nuts here. There's a 13 millimeter bolt here. So if you're looking at it, it's going to be kind of up, you know, you're kind of laying on your side in front of your seat. So it's going to be like up and then the clutch master is bolted to the bracket via these two 10 millimeter bolts that run through it here. And so you take these four 13 millimeter nuts, this 13 millimeter bolt and these two tens out, and then this whole thing is loose and you could just pull it out of the car. There's nothing fancy about it. You will have to be careful because at least in my car, if you're looking at it like this, I had some wires, like a wire harness kind of running right here. So you'll just kind of want to move the wires and be careful not to get it snagged. But this whole thing just slides out. And then obviously, you know, same thing. Like I just said, you could pull these uh, clips, remove the pedals and then remove the bushings and replace them or whatever. So I think it's pretty simple. I think that's the way you should do it if you're going to do it. Cause then not only does it give you an opportunity to learn or replace any of the parts down here where it's just easier and you're not cramped in the car, but it doesn't take that much more work. I think now that I've done it, you know, I, you know, I didn't know 100% because I've never taken this out. This is the first time I've taken it out. But now that I know, it would only take, you know, two more extra minutes having the right socket and extensions to just take this thing out than it would, you know, to just leave it in the car. And for me, that's worth it. So I'm going to go ahead and take these pedals off now, remove the OEM plastic bushings, install the garagistic brass bushings, and then toss this whole thing back in the car. And hopefully we fixed some of this free play here. So here we go. All right, really quick side note before we actually toss the bushings in, I think I had an epiphany here. 
I mentioned earlier in the video about how the brake or the clutch pedal kind of sits offset to the left. And now that I have it out of the car, I don't think it's actually the bushing that's causing the problem. I think it's this helper spring or return spring. If you're unfamiliar with what these are and how they work, if you look, there's just a pin that hopefully it'll focus. There's just a pin that kind of sits in this recess right there but this pin comes out and just like that it's two pieces for whatever reason and so it's not very stiff like if you if you look at this right this is the pedal flipped upside down but do you see how much play there is in this and then same thing goes for this which you know would have the pin i can't do it one-handed but the pin would sit in there but there's play in that too and then that just kind of rides in this groove and so I have a feeling because this has so much play in it that it's caught because you know and it's sprung once it's sitting in there I have a feeling the spring and the fact that there's a lot of play is just having it crooked like this and so I mentioned in the last clip that some people delete these um, if your clutch master cylinder is good internally and there's no leaks you can technically run without this helper spring um, because the hydraulic pressure will just kick your clutch pedal back up but um, I haven't dove into enough research to know exactly what this is for. I don't know if it's supposed to help put tension on the clutch pedal for a stiffer feel or if it's just to help it return back to its normal, normal position. But either way, I think that's why my clutch pedal is leaning. Um, I'm going to put it back in because it came out, you know, with it. I'd like to just put it all back together the way it was. But I think that's why, um, you know, feel free to comment below if there is another theory, but I don't think anything is bent. This is pretty sturdy. This is like a pretty stiff piece. I'd be surprised if, you know, any of this metal was bent anywhere. So anyways, I'm going to put these bushings in and then we'll put it all back in the car and hopefully it had remedied some of that. So we have the pedals off and the bushings out and I kind of wanted to show you the differences between the two. If you look at the OEM one, it comes with this little slit in the middle. I'm sure that's for like ease of installing, maybe like, you know, when they were being assembled or whatever, just like a pop them in real quick, which means these are definitely going to, you know, take some force. But if you look at the difference, this one's definitely way more beefy, like way more robust. The holes are, you know, this is a tighter hole, so I think it's going to, you know, obviously eliminate a lot of the slop there. but. Not only that, but if you look in the middle, you can kind of see how it's like indented a little bit. Maybe that's contributing a little bit to the play, but yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and toss these in. I think you're just going to have to like squeeze them in or maybe I'll have to like use a mallet to get them in there or whatever, but I'm thankful to have this out of the car so I could do it. And then we'll put it all back in, you know, we'll lube all this up with some grease and then get it tossed back in the car. Here we go. Here we are about an hour and a half later. Unfortunately, I did run into some problems, but I wanted to share with you guys what I figured out so that way you can kind of avoid it rather than, you know, spending a couple hours doing it yourself. So everything went smooth. Um, this is a plastic pedal, the clutch pedal and the brake pedal is metal. So I did have to hammer the bushings into this pedal, but they went in pretty easy, like no biggie. But the issue I was having and why it's almost two hours later is as you can see, the clutch pedal has like free movement here. When I installed the, or tried to install the brake pedal with the brass bushings onto the bracket, I literally had to hammer it on. And when I did get it all the way on and sitting flush, the pedal wouldn't move at all. It was literally dead stiff. And so I had to hammer it off. And what I ended up figuring out and doing, and it's really ghetto, but I attached like some sandpaper to a drill bit and just kind of shaved the inside of the bushings. Um, if you're unaware, brass is like soft metal, you know, soft metal. And so it went pretty quick. You didn't have to do, or I didn't have to do it for very long. I just used some 400 grit sandpaper. But then the next issue I ran into after I got the pedal to kind of swing freely is after I put the clip on, it was pinching the pedal and again was making it stiff again. And so I had to take the pedal back off and shave the sides of the bushings until I made enough room for the clip to fit on 
and be able to move the pedal freely to where it basically swung by itself because I was worried if I didn't do that and I put it all back in the car with how tight it was, I would press the brake and then it wouldn't return and the brakes would stay uh, applied. And so I got it all figured out. Everything's loose, like, you know, within reason. Like obviously there's no play in the pedal anymore, but the pedals can swing freely, which is what I wanted. So now I can put it back in the car and then see if I eliminated any of the free play or like side to side free play. So I'm gonna toss this back in the car and I'll let you guys know once it's all back together. All right, everything is put back in the car. Everything is hooked back up. Everything is tight and secure. And the verdict, dude, stiff as a rock. Clutch pedal doesn't feel crazy different. And as you guys can see, it's still a little offset. So again, I think I have a feeling that helper spring down there is what's causing like the weird lean. Again, sometimes people delete it. I, I don't feel the need to right now. Um, so whatever, no big deal. I i'm glad to have replaced the bushings in there but the brake pedal feels amazing like it's it's solid in there especially now that everything is like hooked back up and all the pins and clips are back in and everything so and i believe i've fixed my brake light problem if you look up there this is my brake light switch right here i know it's kind of hard to see it's you know nighttime now i just have a light shining on everything but this is my brake light switch right here in the bracket that it sits in i had bent that to try to fix it the first time way back when I first picked up this car. And um, I readjusted it now. I, I think I bent it back in the right way this time as opposed to the first time I did it. And I uh, had someone check the uh, back of my car and it seems like my brakes are working exactly how they're supposed to be working now. So hopefully no more driving clips with the brakes stuck on. Hopefully I could avoid that comment. But uh, yeah, everything is good. I'm gonna throw all the panels back in here and just call this job done. So, um, Obviously install, geez, look at my hair. Obviously install is the reverse of how it all came out. Um, just like I said in the in the clips when it was on the bench, how you, you know, take it out or whatever, just put it back in the reverse, no big deal. It is kind of a pain to, you know, sit in here in the footwell and try to like maneuver and get your hand and your, you know, wrist in the way to like properly tighten everything. But you can get it done, I got it done. You could definitely get it done. But uh, yeah, worthwhile upgrade. I think they cost, I don't remember. I'll put it in the video. I don't remember off the top of my head personally. I'll get a screenshot though when I edit the video. I think it's like 15 bucks for each set or something. I don't know, worthwhile upgrade. But uh, anyways, if you guys stuck around to the end, I appreciate you checking it out. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.